We've been focusing on some amazing ha athletes from Bixby and Stillwater. Now I want to focus on an amazing teacher who's shaping future farmers, future ranchers, doctors, lawyers, you name it. Those kids that graduate from his FFA program go on to do some really special things. So here is why Dia Nettles is Positively Oklahoma. It's, it's a really good program for kids that, that want a career base. Dia Nettles, the FFA, and Bixby High School work hand in hand, making a difference in the lives of students and helping them succeed. Everyone is just really there for each other, and you know that you can count on anyone anytime, and they will be there for you. Mr. Nettles keeps his FFA kids very busy with the Tulsa State Fair, jackpot shows, a fall show season, then speech contests and horse judging contests in the spring. Uh, then we go on into uh, purchasing the new animals for the next fall show season. Born on a farm and raised around agriculture, Mr. Nettles knew at an early age what his life would be like. I uh, knew that's what I wanted to do. Um, I knew that I wanted to teach kids. And spends every day preparing them for the future. They may go on to career tech and, and become welders, may become um, veterinarians, they may become lawyers. Bixby's principal says the very recent loss of an FFA officer after a long illness devastated the school, so grief counselors were brought in to help and says those students were more worried about how Mr. Nettles was handling the death than themselves, which speaks to the depth of the relationships he's built with students and staff. Those kids uh, are the ones that are the lifeblood of this program. Uh, they keep me going, they keep me young, they keep me doing what I do. So, And the kids say the same about Mr. Nettles. Nice. Good. My favorite thing would be probably Mr. Nettles and just how he brings all of us out of our little bubble and we all do a bunch of things and learn. He has coached me through so many experiences that I've had to go through during high school and I really don't think I could have done it without him. 